day 49. I'm leaving camp. I got my clothes hanging back there somewhat. I'm wearing my sleeping clothes and that's a big no-no. <laughs> but I don't care. I got thermal, so I'll wear those if I need to sleep. I mean, I'll need to sleep, but when I sleep, if these get messed up, but I doubt they will. So, yeah. I'm trying to catch up to Koozie before he leaves. He kept on walking yesterday two and a half miles away. And we're supposed to be going 15 miles today to Iron Mountain Shelter. Because we're going to have to do 15s the next, each of the next five days to make it to our goal of 500 before we come back to trail days. So let's see if we can do it. I'm sure we can. One day we'll be at 10. So we're trying to get back to Damascus the Thursday night before. That way we can set up camp and be there for all three days of all the festivities. And the weather looks like it's going to be iffy. Friday will be good. And right now, for trail days, Saturday and Sunday looks like rain throughout the whole weekend, unfortunately. But it's only like 30%, so we'll see. But I got to get moving because I am freezing. It's like 50 it might not even be 50 right now. It's like 47. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta move. I am frozen. My socks and shoes are still soaked, but that's not a big deal. Once you, if you've ever tried merino wool, it's amazing. I mean, that's what this shirt is made out of too. So once it gets wet, it keeps the temperature. It don't get cold. So the price of the socks are definitely worth it. Anyways, yeah, that's a lot of rambling, extra stuff. Good morning, let's go. So the trail here is so close to being flooded. It's not even a joke. Like, I'm sure at points it has been. And there was a few campsites that we checked out last night that were completely underwater. But yeah, also today is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all of y'all. All y'all mothers out there. So far, there hasn't been a lot of views of the lake, like open views. It's been like this through the tree, so it works for me, but it don't work for the camera. Maybe once we get up here to the dam, but it's nice because I wanted to show you, like, I don't know if you can see it, but the fog, yeah, you can kind of, the fog and the darker clouds over there covering the top of the mountain. Like, that's the cool parts. But... I haven't seen Koozie yet. I thought I might have found him, but that's someone else. But yeah, let's go. Here we go. Dam's just up here. But you see, it's nice. And then, <laughs> yeah, the dam, the dam. What are you laughing about? <laughs> All right, it's 12 o'clock, so I've been going, uh, what, three and a half hours? And we still get the same view of the lake down there, just bits of the water, not, not a single open view yet from up here, which is unfortunate, because it would be nice to see the whole lake from this high instead of at the beach shoreline. Uh, but nine more miles left and no wait it's less than that i think eight miles not too much and not at the top but the rest of the elevation for the day is about 2000 so i knocked out a good chunk of it like 2200 that first couple miles was brutal but now it's pretty steady like two to three hundred little ups and downs and it does all that all day tomorrow like you could go 20 miles tomorrow and it's only 2700 up and 2700 down and me and the koozie 
are thinking about doing it. We'll see. And then that would put us in Damascus uh, early Tuesday morning. And I went a little crazier and said, hey, we could do 26 and get to Damascus tomorrow since after that last six miles is all downhill. But I think 20 is already pushing it. We'll see. Loop. All right, go ahead and say goodbye to Watuga Lake down there. I'm pretty sure that's the last little bit we'll see. At least it looked like it. I, it might surprise me. It might. So I'm uh, about a mile from a shelter where I'm going to take a lunch. And Koozie is not that far behind me. He just got water back there where I got water. So yeah, we're going to meet there and have lunch. So yeah. Yo, we up here taking lunch on this little rock. Whole wheat and pepperoni. He's making a makeshift pizza. <laughs> and this is like the eleven door, I don't know, something shelter. But you can't beat this view. Well you probably could beat it, but not today. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's supposed to be like Roan Mountain over there or something. And then that's the highlands in the back. And then we walked somewhere down in between them. And then got to Station 19, Refuge, Hostel, whatever. And then somehow walked over all of this, all of this. Every single one you're looking at, bruh. Bruh. Now we're here. Now we're here. Lunch is complete. Time to... And then we gotta go over this thing, I think. Do another one. Yeah. Another <laughs> ridge.